In this video, we will do problems from exercise 3.9. But before we go into that, let's see some of the formulas that we need to know before we do this, solve these problems. Now consider a triangle ABC with the angle A, angle B and angle C. And let's consider the length of the side which is opposite to the vertex A, which is the angle A, is small a. Similarly, for angle B, it is small b and for angle c it is small c. Now if this is your triangle then we can say that a by b is equal to sine a by sine b or you can also say a by c is equal to sine a by sine c or you can also say b by c is equal to sine b by sine c. So this is called the law of sines. Next the Napier's formula. The Napier's formula for this triangle is tan a minus b by 2 is equal to a minus b by a plus b into cot c by 2 and so on the second and the third. Similarly, the law of cosines for this triangle will be cos a is equal to b squared plus c squared minus a squared divided by 2bc and similarly for cos b and cos c. Then the projection formula for this triangle is A is equal to B cos C plus C cos B similarly for B and C. And the area of the triangle of this triangle can also be written as half into AC into sin B or you can also call it as half into BC into sin A or you can also define the area of the triangle as half into AB sin C. Further, the half angle formula for sine a by 2 will be given by root of s minus b into s minus c divided by b c where s is defined as a plus b plus c divided by 2. Similarly, for cos a by 2 and tan a by 2, you can derive these formulae. Then the area of the triangle according to Heron's formula is defined where s is given by a plus b plus c by 2. So, the area is equal to square root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c. Then, a term that we need to be aware of when we solve this is circumradius. Circumradius is when you are given a triangle a, b, c and let us say a, b, c are part of a, a points on a circle. So, the radius of such a circle is called the circumradii of this triangle. So, let us consider this triangle here ABC. The circumradii will be OD or it can be OB. Similarly, for the second triangle where the angle is 90 degrees, the circumradii would be BO or OC. Then, this triangle which is ABC, the circumradii will be O, B or O, D. Let us go to question number 1. In a triangle ABC, if sin A by sin C is equal to sin A minus B divided by sin B minus C, then prove that A squared, B squared, C squared are in arithmetic progression. Now, we know according to the sine law that a by sin A is equal to C by sin C. So, further we can say that sin A by sin C is equal to A by C. Let us call this as 1. Now, let us take the second term which is the right hand side term here which is sin a minus b divided by sin b minus c. So, using the formula of sin a minus b, we can expand this as sin a cos b minus cos a sin b divided by sin b cos c minus cos b 
sin c. Now let's take the numerator. So the numerator which is sin a into cos b. So let me say here the numerator will be equal to. So sin a we can say can be written as a by 2r. Why? Because a by sin a is equal to 2r where r is the circumradius. So using this formula we can say this is a by 2r for sin a into using the cosine law cos b is equal to a squared plus c squared minus b squared divided by 2ac minus again for sin b we can say it's b by 2r into b squared plus c squared minus a squared divided by 2bc. Further, let's take the 1 by 2r outside. So, it's 1 by 2r within bracket and plus we'll also have the a and a cancel and the b and the b cancel. So, you're left with a squared plus c squared minus b squared divided by c minus sorry 2c here minus b squared plus c squared minus a squared divided by 2c. That's equal to 1 by 2r outside within bracket. We have a common denominator, so we can say this is a squared plus c squared minus b squared minus b squared minus c squared plus a squared divided by 2c. And that's equal to 1 by 2r into c squared and c squared will be cancelled. So, you'll have 2a squared minus 2b squared divided by 2c, which is equal to, the 2 is common here. So, 1 by 2r, we keep it as it is, within bracket a squared minus b squared divided by c. Similarly, let's go for the denominator. Now, the denominator again for sine b, we can call this as b by 2r within bracket. For cos c, we can say this is a squared plus b squared minus c squared divided by 2ab minus c by 2r within bracket a squared plus c squared minus b squared divided by 2ac. Similarly, let's take the 2r outside and we can cancel the b and the b. Then here the c and the c will get cancelled. So, you're left with 1 by 2r outside and within bracket now, it's 2a and 2a is common. So, let's say this is a squared plus b squared minus c squared minus a squared minus c squared plus b squared divided by 2a. Further, solving this, you will get this as 1 by tr into the a squared will disappear. So, you'll be left with b squared minus a squared divided by a. So, from the numerator and denominator, the right hand side 
will now become 1 divided by 2r into a squared minus b squared divided by c divided by 1 by 2r into b squared minus a squared divided by a. Further, the 2r and 2r will be cancelled. So, you are going to be left with a squared minus b squared multiplied by a divided by b squared minus c squared multiplied by c. And let us call this 2. So, from 1 and 2, we are already given that sin a by c is equal to sin a minus b by sin b minus c. So, sin a minus c is equal to a by c. So, we can say a by c is equal to the RHS is this a by c times a squared minus b squared divided by b squared minus c squared. So, our c and c will get cancelled, a and a will be cancelled. So, you will be left with a squared minus b squared divided by b squared minus c squared is equal to 1. Further, this is a squared minus b squared is equal to b squared minus c squared. This is taking this term to the right hand side up here. So, further rearranging this, we can say a squared plus c squared is equal to 2 times b squared. Next, let us try and show how if a squared plus c squared is equal to 2b squared, that it becomes an arithmetic progression. So, we have proved that a squared plus c squared is equal to 2b squared. So, let us consider the first term which is a1 in the arithmetic progression as a squared and let us consider a2 which is equal to b squared the second term. So, this will be normally a squared plus the difference. Similarly, a3 the third term is c squared and that should be equal to a squared plus which is the first term plus because it is the third term it will be 2 d where d is the difference. So, now let us define from this given expression here a squared plus c squared. So, a squared is a squared which is a 1 and the third term is c squared which is a squared plus 2 d. So, this is a squared plus a squared plus 2 d. This can be written as 2 a squared plus 2 d which is 2 times a squared plus d. Now, a squared plus d is nothing but b squared. So, this is equal to 2 b squared. So, it satisfies the condition of arithmetic progression. Therefore, a squared b squared c squared or in arithmetic progression. Question number 2. The angles of a triangle ABC are in arithmetic progression and if B is to C is in the ratio 3 root 3 is to root 2 then find angle A. So, what we are given here is the triangle A B C this is A, B, C, right. And in this triangle, we are given that B by C is equal to root 3 by root 2. And we are also given that angle A, angle B, angle C are in arithmetic progression. So, we have seen the, from the previous uh, uh, sum that if they are in arithmetic progression, then 2 times angle B will be equal 
this is angle B, will be equal to angle A plus angle C. Further, we can also say 3 times angle B is equal to angle A plus angle B plus angle C. Now, using the sine formula, we can say B by sine B is equal to C by sine C, J which is B by C is equal to sine B by sine C. Now, what is given to us is that B by C is equal to root 3 by root 2, root 3 by root 2. So, let us take this root 3 by root 2 and let us divide the numerator and denominator by 2. So, this will become root 3 by 2 divided by 1 by root 2. And we know that root 3, root 3 by 2 is nothing but sine 60 degrees and 1 by root 2 is sine 45 degrees, which is equal to sine b by sine c. Therefore, our angle b is equal to 60 degrees and angle c is equal to 45 degrees. Therefore, angle A will be equal to 180 degrees minus 60 degrees minus 45 degrees which is equal to 75 degrees. Therefore, angle A is equal to 75 degrees angle B is equal to 60 degrees and angle C is equal to 45 degrees. Clearly, we can see that they satisfy the conditions of arithmetic progression which is 2 angle B is equal to angle A plus C and 3 angle B is equal to angle A plus angle B plus angle C. Therefore, they satisfy the conditions of arithmetic progression, hence the proof. Question number 3. In a triangle ABC, if cos C is equal to sin A by 2 sin B, show that the triangle is isosceles. Alright, so let us say that sin A by A, which according to the sin rule is equal to sin B by B is equal to sin C by C. And let us call this ratio as k. Therefore, we can define now our sin a as a k, sin b as b k and sin c as c k. Further, given to us that cos c is equal to sin a by sin 2 sin b. So, let us take the left hand side which is cos sin c and apply the cosine rule. So, according to the cosine rule cos c will be a squared plus b squared minus c squared divided by 2 a b. Now, the right hand side sin a let us replace that with a k and 2 sin b, let us replace that with 2 b k. So, our k and k will be cancelled. So, we have now a squared plus b squared minus c squared divided by 2 a b is equal to a by 2 b. Further, 2 and 2 will be cancelled and the b and b will be cancelled. So, now you are left with a squared plus b squared minus c squared is equal to taking the a to the other side a squared. Further simplifying this, we get 
b squared minus c squared is equal to a squared minus a squared which is equal to 0. Therefore, b squared minus c squared is equal to 0 which implies b squared is equal to c squared which implies our b is equal to c. Therefore, the triangle, the triangle is isosceles. Question number 4. In a triangle ABC, prove that sin B by sin C is equal to C minus A cos B divided by B minus A cos C. So, let us take the right hand side first and let us take the numerator of the right hand side which is C minus A cos B. Now, let us apply the four cosine formula for cos B. So, this is equal to C minus A into A squared plus C squared minus B squared divided by 2AC. Taking 2C as a common denominator, now this is 2C squared minus A squared minus C squared plus b squared. Further, solving this, this is c squared plus b squared minus a squared divided by 2c. Let us multiply the denominator numerator by b. So, this is now equal, let us say this is equal to b into c squared plus b squared minus a squared divided by divided by 2bc. Now, if you look at this, this is nothing but cos a. So, it is b into cos a. So, let us call this 1. Let us take the denominator of the right hand side which is b minus a cos c. Let us use the same method. So, it is b minus a times a squared plus b squared minus c squared divided by 2ab. Similarly, the a and a will be, my, this is a minus here, will be cancelled. So, that is equal to now with 2b as a common denominator, it is 2b squared minus a squared minus b squared plus c squared and that is equal to b squared plus c squared minus a squared divided by 2b. Now, let us multiply this with the c both on the denominator and numerator. So, this now will become c into b squared plus c squared minus a squared divided by 2bc and that is equal to c into cos a. Cos a is according to the cosine formula b squared plus c squared minus a squared divided by 2bc. Therefore, our right hand side now is equal to the numerator of the right hand side is let us call this 2. So, you can say from 1 and 2 the right hand side is now equal to b cos a divided by c cos a which is equal to b by c. Using the sine formula or the sine law, we can call b as 2r where r is the circumradius into sine b divided by 2r sine c. Therefore, we can say, sorry, this will be 
you know uh, cancel so you will end up with sine b divided by sine c which is your left hand side hence the proof thank you for watching maths tutorial anand please like and uh, you can comment if you have any questions and do not forget to subscribe to get more videos like this.